welcome once again today we are going to look at is2 inventory is2 inventory yeah this event we are going to take a look at how it is being handled now one thing about accounting standard is this they will give you the theoretical aspect of it on how you can handle it once it happens and once you encounter it now here is just a theoretical approach of inventory on how you can handle it whenever you come across it now someone was asking me does it mean all the standard they're going to set it in the exam i say yes they are going to set some of the standard in the exam but most of this standard will be tested in what preparation of financial statement now when you look at your financial statement you find out that you have inventory now with the theory we are going to learn here with a little bit of an example we give you an age and understanding on how to tackle it in the example once you see it in additional information now one thing you should know about additional information is this additional information are those information that was not included in the account before concluding that account so as a result of that they notice some things have not been added into that account those things that have not been added into that account are known as what additional information so the only way to handle those things is when you are good in double entry and the double entry principles say that to every debit entry there must be a corresponding credit entry that is the way you handle that I'm going to talk more about that, but today we are focusing on accounting standard IS2, which is what inventory. Now, this standard focus on the accounting treatment of inventories. It provides guidance on how to measure and account for what inventory. Now, let us define inventory. What is this inventory that we are talking about? now notice that inventory formerly was what we call what stock but now it is now inventory right good and fair inventory can be defined as an asset that is held for sale in an ordinary course of business in production process and in form of raw material and supply the use in the production of goods and what services they are what asset head for what says in an ordinary course of business when you you make your purchase you get some inventory that you are holding so that at the end you you do what you will sell to make some what that is profit so here we are giving you the detailed definition of it so this is the definition of inventory now this inventory will have what we call components of inventory components of inventory are what one finished goods two work in progress and the third one is what raw material this component of inventory is highly examined you might be asked what are the components of inventory after you must have defined it one is what finished goods work in progress and raw material now the key points of this is2 is this these are the key thing i want us to what understand in this is2 which is event now measurement of inventory how do you measure inventory now let's read it then i will explain more inventory should be measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value now costs include all cost of what purchase cost of conversion and other costs incurred in bringing the inventory to the awards present location and condition now when you purchase an inventory let's say for five thousand euros 
the cost of conversion, the cost incurred in bringing the inventory, transportation, impose duties, any cost that is associated with that inventory. All of them should be worth merged together to give you the cost of that inventory. That is what this place is saying. And again, he said that inventory should be measured what at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Now, let me just explain this. I will give detailed example of it again. You got an uh you you, you purchase an inventory for five thousand. Right? Then the net realizable value, maybe uh, you purchase the inventory today and you want to sell that inventory. You find out that that inventory has reduced. The value of that inventory has what? Reduced from 5,000 to 4,000. IS2 says that you are not going to recognize it as 5,000 again since the net realizable value is now what? 4,000. So you are picking 4,000 as the cost of that asset. That is what this measurement is talking about. So now when you see it in an exam situation, and they say that the cost of the asset is 5,000, but the net realizable value of that asset is 4,000, you work with your word, 4,000, because assets, sorry, inventory should be measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Costs include all cost of purchase, cost of conversion, and other costs incurred in bringing the inventory to their location. Now, what is net realizable value? Net realizable value is the estimated selling price in the ordinary cost of business, less the estimated cost of what completion and the estimated cost necessary to make the sales. Hope it's not. Hope this definition is not confusing you. Net realizable value is that amount you can realize from the sales of that inventory. Like I gave an example. The inventory is cost five thousand. But the net realizable value is four. I I just hope you understand this net realizable value. Now let's go down. Let's now. The next thing is cost formula. What cost formula do you use in inventory, in costing your inventory? Now, IS2 allow the user specific identification, specific formulas like what? FIFO, first in, first out, and weighted average. Right? And weighted average. FIFO and weighted average. Now, LIFO, please and please, LIFO method is not allowed in uh, using is2 lifo is not allowed so you cannot use lifo lifo to measure anything inventory you cannot use lifo the only formula you are permitted to use is fifo word and weighted average now let's look, take a look at disclosure. Now this disclosure are those things you show at the first of your account. Now the accounting policy adopted in inventory, including the cost formula. What formula did you use? You should be able to tell that you use FIFO, you use weighted average. So maybe mistakenly you use LIFO and you stated that and said, no, this one is not viable. You cannot use LIFO. Right, so that is the essence of disclosing this. But the acceptable one is FIFO and weighted average. Now, the total carrying amount of inventory and the classification of each inventory appropriate to the entity. You have to state the total amount of the inventory. These are the things you disclose. The amount of any width of any right down of inventory recognized as what expenses. There are some amounts you recognize as expenses. So this also should be disclosed. We are going deep now. These are just, we are going to the main IS2 that you understand them more. 
Now, I have to ensure that the financial statement reflects the value of inventory accurately and provide transparency regarding the word evaluation method used by an entity. Let's take a look at this example one, measurement of inventory. A company has 100 units of product. The cost to produce each unit is 10 naira. So the total cost is worth 1,000. If the selling price has dropped to 9 naira per unit, with selling expenses of 1 naira per unit, the net realizable value will be 8 naira per unit. Since, since the net realizable value is 8 naira, is, is lower than the cost of 10 naira. The inventory should be written down towards 8 naira. Now, this is what I explained earlier. Now, if you take a look at this inventory, the cost is worth 1,000 naira. And a unit is worth, is worth 10 naira. Now, the fact that the selling, the selling price of that unit is now 9 naira. It drops to 9 naira. With the selling expenses of another 1 naira. Right? Which has reduced the, the price by unit towards 8 naira. Now, the 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 event now should be measured what at eight naira at the lower of the cost. The cost was ten naira, but now after maybe one or two things that happens in the market brought down the the price of the inventory, this that it becomes eight naira. Now I has to say that you should what recognize eight naira as the cost of the event and not 10 naira. Now, let's look at the cost formula. FIFO, a company buy 100 units at 5 naira each and then buy another 100 units at 6 naira each. If the company sell 150 units under FIFO and the cost of the first 100 units sold will be worth 5 naira each. Total 500. And the next 50 units will be 6 naira each total 300 the cost of the goods should be worth 800 now FIFO is letting you know that once you sold the first one for 5 naira each and the second one the price is at 6 naira you merge them together That is what FIFO is saying. Remember, FIFO is first in, first out. The goods you bought first will be the goods you send out. Remember, the amount you use in buying the first goods might be different from the amount you use in buying the second goods. Now, the first goods that you bought, you sold, you sold that first good for five naira each out. The second one that you bought, you sold it for six naira each out. Now, what FIFO is saying that put the cost of the first one and the cost of the second one together. That is what the amount, the total amount of goods you have sold out. Is that clear? Good. Now, but weighted average have different view. Now, weighted average says if the same company has above uses the weighted average, the average cost per unit would be what? 5 plus 6 divided by 2. You now get the what? The price to use. Remember the first one. The, the first one, the amount. The price is 5 naira each. That give you a total of this. The second one is six naira each. That gives a total of this. That is five plus eight. 
will not give you sorry five then you plus this figure here to now give you eight hundred naira all right good they added together but in weighted average is not so weighted average now say the price which is five naira plus six naira that is the first they are the first one you saw that the price you use in selling it out then the second one the price you use in selling it out is five naira and six naira then you divide it by two it will not give you the cost average cost you will not use for your sales hope that is correct good so it will not be the cost of goods sold for the 150 unit will be what 150 times 5.50 which is 8.25 that is weighted average you bring the sum of the two price and divide it by two to give you what the weighted average price that you use in selling that goods now recognition as an expenses this is another example i'm just showing what you should know about inventory in case you see it in case you want to handle it now a retailer sells 20 units of inventory that cost two thousand the sale price is what three thousand the cost of two thousand is recognized as what expenses which is what your what cost of goods sold in the income statement in the same period the revenue of three thousand is recognized now what this place is saying that what do you recall what do you recognize as expenses i bought a goods for five thousand naira, and i sold that goods for seven thousand naira. what he's saying here that we should recognize as expenses is what the cost of goods sold that five thousand that I bought it, I now sell seven thousand. I have a gain of two thousand. Now, in that the same what period that the revenue was actualized, then you have you will not have your sales. Less cost of goods will not give you what your gross profit. Right? So sorry, I was using different figure. No, that is what they are saying here. The inventory cost is two thousand, and the and they sold it for three thousand. The expenses, what you should recognize as expenses, should be this word two thousand, which is your what cost of goods sold in the income statement in the period that the revenue what is recognized. Hope you got that. Good and fine. What are we disclosing? Example in the financial statement, a company disclosed that it uses the FIFO method to value its inventory with a total carrying amount of 500,000. It also knows that 50,000 of the inventory has been played as security for loan. This example demonstrates the practical application of IAS2 in accounting for what inventory disclose disclosure you disclose it the way it is hope you are there now let's get the next one now measurement and valuation of inventory are related concepts in accounting but they are not exactly the same here how they differ Measurement of inventory. Measurement refers to the process of determining the monetary amount at which inventories are recognized in the financial statement. Measurement. Measurement deal with the monetary what aspect. Monetary aspect amount which an inventory is recognized in the financial statement. That is measurement. Measurement. Monetary aspect. Now, key aspects, it involves determining the cost of inventory, which includes purchase cost, 
conversion cost and other cost necessary to bring the inventory to its present location and condition. After determining the cost, inventory is measured at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Did you get that? Now, what this place is saying that the measurement of this inventory should include all other calls that have that you can associate to that inventory. And the measurement here is just what how much after you sum all how much it is. Hmm. Then after that, you now measure at the lower of what cost and net realizable value is it confusing somehow measurement just deal with money the monetary amount but inventory should be what measure at the lowest of net realizable value should be measured at the lowest of net realizable value so it even uh, measurement deal with what monetary aspects now valuation how do you val value inventory definition valuation refers to the final determination of the value of inventory in the financial statement taking into account both the initial measurement and any necessary what adjustments key aspect valuation considers not only the cost but also whether the inventory needs to be written down if its net realizable value is lower than its cost. Now, measurement, deal with monetary aspect. Now, valuation determines whether the, va the, the, the inventory should be written down or not. Then, when the when the net realizable value, when inventory is as a result is is a lower of its net realizable value, valuation enter the end. What do you do? You value it by what subtracting it, reducing. If the cost is five thousand and the net realizable value is four thousand. You value it. You did your you do your computation, and you arrive at your answer, which is four thousand, which is now your inventory. That is the value. Now the valuation process ensures that inventory is not overstated, and is recorded as it as it is the true economic value. Now the valuation makes sure that that inventory that there is no mistake in the computation is not overstated. That is valuation. Let's look at uh, example of example to differentiate measurement and valuation because these are the two things. Measurement: a company buy raw material for ten thousand, incur two thousand in conversion cost, five hundred in transportation cost. The total measured cost of the inventory is what twelve thousand. You get measurement. Now. That is measurement of an inventory. It give you the actual cost. Now, valuation. Valuation will tell you how to what. Let's just read it. Valuation. If the amount condition change and the inventory net realizable drop to 11, the company must value the inventory at the lower of cost and net realizable value, which in this case is 11,000. This reflects the inventory the inventory reduced economic value. Valuation is getting the total amount it costs you to get that inventory into its location. Why valuation is taking cognizant if there's any changes in the market value of that inventory, then you value it down. right good in summary measurement is about determining the initial cost while valuation is about ensuring the inventory is recorded at the correct amount on the balance sheets
potentially adjusting the initial cost for any decline in value. That is all about IS2. Invent. Now, mind you that the closing balance of your inventory is taken to you where yeah? current assets in your balance sheets, financial position, that is where it's going straight. I believe you understand this. Please, if you have any question, confusion about this, don't forget to put it in the comment box. We'll discuss over there. Thank you very much. I remain blessed.